Welcome folks. Today's video is brought to you by NDT Hero. Today we're going to go ahead and create a curve using these distance amplitude blocks uh, using the Sonatest D70. Okay, so uh, with this um, distance amplitude curve we need three separate uh, sound paths. Uh, we're going to have three blocks. These are all aluminum. They each have a 564 flat bottom hole and they're going to start off with a half inch sound path on this block. The next uh, sound path is uh, three quarters of an inch, 0.75. And my third sound path is going to be 1.5 inches. Okay. So uh, <clears throat> I'm going to walk you through this. So as you can see here, we're back on the main screen. Uh, first I'm going to do, as you can see, I've got a five inch sound uh, range. I'm going to adjust this range back to about two inches or so, so I can get a better view and create a nice uh, curve for everyone to see. So um, let's come back over here to the cow window, select a range of two inches, and uh, come back to the measurement. And under the measurement window, you'll see the, the DAC menu, which is now off. When I select this, it's gonna allow me to, to either uh, draw it or turn it on. Uh, the on is only here because I had a DAC created earlier, but I want to redraw this. So I'm going to select draw. And with draw, it gives me my uh, cursor. And uh, we're going to adjust that cursor uh, for each individual signal and select it to create a point, right? So right now we have zero points created. Uh, as I go through this, you'll see this number increase to capture each of these uh, flat bottom holes, which should be a three point DAC. Okay, so here we go, right? So we've got this first signal coming up from my half inch sound path. All right, it's right around 79%. So I'm gonna go ahead and select okay. Hit it one more time. And when I do that, you'll see I've got my first point, okay? I'm going to move over to the second block. Get the second signal peaked out. It's important to make sure the cursor is highlighting just that signal, okay? We don't want to bridge these two. We want to have a separate signal uh, picked up on its own. So we'll hit OK. And with that, we've got a second point. Then we come over to the third uh, flat bottom hole, which should be an inch and a half, right? Now we know I have a two inch screen, so inch and a half's gotta be right in here. So I'm gonna move my cursor. And sure enough, right, we've got 1.49 inches. Uh, and we'll go ahead and hit okay. Now we've got our three points created here. So the next option then is to hit menu to get out of this cursor. Okay, now we're gonna come back up. And turn this on, right? So at this point we've been drawing the curve by, by plotting the points. Now we'll select on and with that, we'll get these this curve to show up. So now we've created a three point DAC, half inch, three quarter inch and 1.5 inch uh, distances or sound paths and uh, and now we've done that so good job guys congratulations you've created your three-point DAC the important thing here is to use your menu button to get out of certain functions to make sure to have the cursor on each individual point and, and that they're not bridging two points at the same time and uh, and you'll get yourself a, a nice uh, DAC created here uh, again, also remember the first point must be at 80% and allow the signal to go down uh, and never uh, adjust the gain from that initial uh, flat bottom hole. So anyway, I hope you enjoyed this video. Uh, please feel free to look at uh, ndthero.com for additional um, uh, short comic book stories and uh, content that is um, a bit entertaining and uh, educational. Thank you very much. Have a good evening.